Hello and welcome back to Average Guy's Garage. Well, it's been a pretty hot summer. We haven't made videos for a little bit, but as hot as it is today, we still have to do something. This is a 2001 Dodge Dakota Sport. And previous videos were on my truck, which is a 2000. And this is my son's truck, 2001. And today, we're going to replace ball joints, upper ball joints, on the both sides. So, we'll get started. Have a few pointers along the way. First, we're going to block the back wheels, get it up in the air, and get started. Mm -hmm. So, here's the reason we're going to change the ball joints. Basically, this is our ball joint right here, upper ball joint, and look, it's cracked, it's worn right here, and there's, it's not doing anything to protect the, the steering to take out some of the movement in the steering. Now, this is factory, so these are uh, rivets, so we're going to have to use the grinder, grind off these rivets, then the next one will go on with a bolts. This line right here, I'll just take these bolts off, move this line up and out of the way so we don't hit it with the angle grinder. Uh, so that's the next step. Alright, those two bolts are out. This is loose now. So next thing we'll do is we'll take the lower castle nut, they call it, here off of the lower ball joint. It has a cotter pin. Take that out. Then we'll tap the side try to get this knuckle to drop down. When that drops down, this should be able to fall down with it and just leave this by itself and then we'll work on that. All right, this is a little struggle sometimes getting the cotter pin out. Broke a little bit, so now we're fighting it from both directions. Eventually it will come out, you have to be patient with it. Sometimes it'll fight you and fight you, then you touch it one time and it slides right out. All right, the castle nut is now down. It's gonna hold the Let's upper it, arm knuckle. And a swift tap here should loosen it. I saw it move a little bit. My jack, my jack is down. It's moving around. Why well, is it loose from the? You should be able to move it if you reach in there and sort of push up on the nut. If it's loose, it should be. No. Stay here. Stay right. here. Right. Here you go. Alright. A double. Um, I'm told that's not necessarily the best way to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> people say that you can crack suspension pieces by doing that, but I ain't got time to go get a pull right now. Alright, so now we're gonna so now you're gonna need bring to it up a little bit to take that yeah. nut off. And, uh, I don't know if you want to take the thing out of the way to do it with the other one. When we let it go, this is going to come down with the knuckle so that all this will be clear. Right. So I need to take this nut off and then let it down with the jack. Well, I would, what I would do right now is, uh, well, just a wee touch of rain, but um, you get a real clear shot right there at the top of your three uh, yeah. rivets.
All right, so here is, you can't see the tops of the three rivets anymore. They're ground down. And now it's just a matter of punching those rivets out or prying the ball joint off. All right, so. Careful, it's gonna be hot. It's a little hot. So after grinding that down and hitting it with a Careful. little wedge underneath, you can start to see, you'll start to see these little circles where the rivets are. Hey, man. And then what we did after that was once you start to see those little cir circles, we're tapping it, and you'll get them more defined, more defined, and eventually it'll just it'll pop off. That's the old one. Just did. Hot. Yep. And then these old rivets come out. Then we can just clean that up a little bit, get the new one on, and be good as new. Almost as good as new. Well, better than average. Better than better than average for the average guy. Why not? I don't know the torque spec, but as tight as we can do it without snapping it off ought to be good enough. I can't do it anymore. So, next thing, and I have made this mistake before. I had this down and I put this on and then I had to take the knuckle back off and take this back up on top one time. So make sure this is back up on top where it belongs. Then we're going to move the knuckle back in place. Lower it down with the jack a little bit, then we'll use the jack to help cinch it up here. Put the castle nut back on. I can see it filling up in here. Mm -hmm. See the ball joint filling up? Just popped out. Right? All right, good. Stop. Stop right there? Yep. A little bit coming out. That's fine. Well, I think that was already on there when I put it on there. I'm talking about at the bottom of the oh, rubber. Right here? Yeah. So that's good, like that? Yeah. Okay. If it started to come out of there, yeah. Yeah, it, it filled it and it ballooned. Okay. Okay. Done? Why don't you wipe a little bit of the excess grease on your uh, lug studs <clears throat> for the wheel? All right, the right side is done, put back together. Now we're gonna do the left side and look at this ball joint. Rubber is completely gone. Now, this truck was bought secondhand recently. 2001 Dakota Sport, 150,000 miles. And, um, you know, here's the rivet, so it's original, but Definitely time to replace that. All right. So now the cotter pin is out of the castle nut right here, and this is a 13 16 and these things are pretty tight they they rust on there so you got it do what you can to get it off all right that one broke free pretty clear pretty easy the one on the right side Took a lot of WD-40 to get. What we want to do is just back this off, but don't take it off. And then once it's backed off a little bit, then we'll tap both sides of this and it should loosen, but just drop as low as you loosen the nut to. All right, so now the knuckle is off. We backed off that castle nut, but, and look at that. There's absolutely nothing left of this ball joint. So 
So next thing is to grind those rivets off. Do not forget to wear the face mask when you're grinding. Alright, we've been grinding for a while, probably 45 minutes to an hour. And you see that circle right there starting to come up. And there's one over on this side right there. Let me get a better angle. And that is from grinding down that top part of the rivet and then putting a screwdriver right here and hammering in and getting it to lift off. So another couple of uh, hits with a hammer and that ball joint will be off. Alright so the ball joints off and these two rivets fell out but this last one you just tap it out and now it's ready to go for the new ball joint. Alright there's the new ball joint in place. We'll just use the jack that's underneath lift it up, get it in place, and put that castle nut on. Alright, completed. There is the new ball joint and I have put the grease gun and filled it up. I reattached the brake line hose to 13 millimeters. Put the castle nut and cotter pin in and we're ready to put the tire on and then take it for a test drive call that complete weekend project for average guys garage something anybody can do it just takes a little bit of time and effort especially in the heat of the summer but when you got to do it you got to do it right